Hello, my name is Egon Yu, the Vice President at Daehang Hospital in Seoul, South Korea. Since 2006, our team of three colorectal surgeons have been using a therapeutic endoscopic technique called ESD. We have performed over 700 ESD cases in four years. Recently, we analyzed the clinical risk factors of colon perforation during ESD. The factors were procedural related variables and the patient related variables. The mean size of tumors were about 25 millimeters and the overall envelope dissection rate uh, was about 95%. Perforation occurred in 6.4% of cases, yet all of these minus two could be treated conservatively. Our univariate analysis reveals four significant findings the first, LSD tumor type. Secondly, the right side location of tumors. The third point of notice was that less ESD experience directly correlated to perforation rates. And finally, some mucosal injection without higher luronic acid was again associated with higher rates of perforation. Our multivariate analysis showed that performing ESD without higher lunonic acid significantly increased perforation rates. Our result showed that some mucosal injection with higher lunonic acid is very useful for preventing colon perforation during ESD procedures. Here's a short video of endoscopic clipping for a perforation that occurred during our ESD procedures.